Hey folks, Ron here. Um, just a, a little update, just to let you know that, you know, beware of uh, mechanics and, and shops and such. <clears throat> Last Sunday, going into St. Joe, Missouri, um, I started running real bad. I was scaling out about 79,000 plus, so... Anyway, I managed to make it over to Love's, which was literally just down the street from where I had to deliver on Monday morning. So Monday morning, I made the delivery, started looking around for somebody that could work on Volvos, because I'm in my 2010 Volvo 780, and uh, took it over to Summit Group and spent the day there. They diagnosed, di did a diagnostic on it and found out that it had number one shorted, number three open, but one, two, and three share the same return, four, five, and six share the same return. So it was pretty much running on three, uh, in cylinders four, five, and six. So I went and got a hotel across from Love's, took an Uber over there, called them Tuesday morning, and they said, uh, well, it's gonna cost you $3,800. And I went, what? Stop the presses. I'll call you back. So I used to own a shop in California, so I called called around some of the places, went online to look, and uh, found a place over there that had them for remands for $200 a piece. So um, I called back. I called over to Summit, and I said, Hey, I'll have my parts drop shipped, and you can just put them in my truck. Well... They hem hawed, they hem hawed, they hem hawed, and they talked about warranty. And I said, Well, you know, warranty, you're not going to cover electronic warranty anyway. So, your warranty only covers the workmanship. So, uh, what do you care what I put in that truck? If it's waived, if you've got it written down on my invoice that, hey, we're not going to cover the warranty on these parts, then what do you care? Anyway, long story short, went back and forth. They wouldn't do it. It would not put my parts in the engine. So I said, well, fine, button it up. So I called them back in California, ordered up a six-pack of injectors, and uh, made arrangements with the Love's management that I could uh, do it in their parking lot myself. They thought I was nuts, but hey, I know how to do that kind of stuff. So I was like, okay. So I went and... Uh, Ordered parts, told them to button it up. They're all over themselves trying to get, oh, there's a mistake. Uh, well, we got those new injectors. Come to find out they had the core fee added into the price. Who do you think you're blowing smoke up whose backside? The fact of the matter is you don't have core fees on new parts. And uh, so just told me that they were lying through their teeth to me. So I was like, all right, fine. I'll, I'll do it myself. Button it up. I'll be there to pick it up in 20 minutes. So I went over there. They were buttoning it up. They charged me almost $600 for the diagnostic to tell me I had two injectors that were bad. I mean, obviously, they were spanking me for for taking it out of there, but now it was the principal. Anyway, ordered up those those injectors. The shipping department screwed the labor, label up and wound up sending them ground. So I had to order two more injectors and have them sent to me overnight and have them redirect the other six-pack over to my home in Nevada so at least I could get running so this lead this video leads you up to you know a little bit shows you how I tore into the engine and I'm running fine I had in fact that uh, I've got two other videos I'm going to be showing here uh, that are kind of mixed and melded together and just basically showing you that I, how I tore into it and uh, after I ended that video Two hours later, I was turning the key and starting it, and uh, running down to Saint, uh, down to Kansas City to pick up my load. So, uh, pick up, picked up my load on Friday afternoon. So I lost uh, a lot of time, and that'll happen to you as an owner operator out here, and things go bad. So, just uh, this video may be for some of you, and may not, but my perseverance was to not be taken advantage of. Um, I spent a little bit of money at Menards getting, you know, getting angle iron, 
different things to be able to, to do it out in the field. But I did it out in the field, and that's, that's what counts. So y'all enjoy. All right, I'm under my makeshift tarp. Yeah, well, not makeshift, I might. Uh, my tarp here. So I just wanted to make this video show I'm changing out. There was a mess up in the injectors being delivered on time. Um, so I had to have them send another two injectors since I've got two injectors that are, are non-operative. Um, and I'm just changing out these two injectors that, you know, that they sent to me. And I'm going to flip it around and explain. All right. So we'll see if, if I can do it this way because the video camera won't let me uh, flip it around. So anyway, I'm changing out the injectors. There was a mess up in the delivery of the injectors. They were supposed to be here yesterday morning. Turned out they shipped them ground. They won't be here till next week. Um, I'm in St. Joseph, Missouri. So I tore it apart yesterday to change the injectors. Long story, I'll, I'll have to explain it, but the guys, no one here in town works on Volvos, except for Summit Group. And Summit Group wanted $1,295 per injector. So I'm like, oh no, 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 not gonna do that. So I ordered up injectors at $200 a piece from California that were supposed to be here yesterday. Um, so this is uh, this is uh, what I pulled one of them. Now, I had two that were bad. This is this is number one that I pulled out. Number one injector, and uh, the other one's right below it here. And uh, that was number three. So I pulled those out, but. Um, yeah, I tore into the, I had to make that, I had to go get that Menards, get that angle iron and some bolts and cut that angle iron so I could pull that, that rocker rack out in one piece that goes on top, but I just wanted to film the injector, alright, there's a serial number for number one, right, uh, of the, two that I had to have shipped here today and then the rest will come to the house and then then I just put this injector another one that I received in number three so uh, all right so that's that's what I've been doing sitting here in St. Joe with my engine core part doing some work under a tarp in the rain so well not raining right now but it was thunderstorms all day yesterday when I was trying to get this all apart and now I'm just trying to get it back together see how, how it runs so I'll do a post a little bit later bye